time now for Options Insight. I'm Abigail Doolittle. Joining me today from the Steve in Chicago is Alan Nuckman of Agora Financial. Alan, happy Friday to you. What a week. It feels like it's been a Good super, afternoon. Yeah, super long week here. And so, you know, we started off with small gains for the major averages. Now we're looking at modest losses, trade headlines being blamed. But how much of this has to do with quadruple witching day? Is that a piece of the volatility as well, especially as we go into the close? Well, I think we saw some action today because of some headlines, but uh, other than that, you know, quadruple you know, witching uh, doesn't have as much impact because there's so many markets and there are so many participants that don't really have to make that many adjustments as we did when I was a young trader. But I really like what I've seen so far this week. Uh, we did make some new relative highs at S&P, did not take out the all-time top just yet. But also importantly, the VIX made a new swing low, and today it was down to the 1330 level, a level that it hasn't been to since the end of July where we had that bottom base and then that breakout so the markets come all the way back down to where it was. So you know it's interesting you're mentioning that VIX Allen because City is out with a call saying that you should take the volatility to the upside in oil take those profits and fund uh, put protection basically against a possible market sell-off because the implied volatility on the VIX or the S&P 500 is so low that at some point it's gonna skyrocket higher. What do you think about that and if you were going to uh, take a, a move in that direction, what's the timing like? Well, that's not a bad idea or bad strategy. You're, you're you know, kind of locking in some of your gains if you were long oil. Now, oil had its breakout finally. For three months, it traded between 50 and 60. It's still significantly lower than where it was at this time last year. Um, but, you know, we've seen oil back off. I want to see a secondary... I think an upward push in oil can also be a positive for the stock market because that'll help a lot of the energy stocks that have been uh, beaten and, and battered. Uh, but uh, using that as a strategy, sure, the VIX is low. Eventually, it's going to bounce up. But what we've seen every single time in the last 10 years, every time we get a VIX explosion, it gets beaten back down. It takes maybe a couple of sessions or a couple of weeks, but that happens time and time again, and the market marches to new highs. So it sounds like you would not be a put buyer in the S&P 500 uh, right now. St sticking with energy and oil, you're trade is on Occidental Petroleum. Right. Oxy's got been kind of stuck as well. That's a stock that's gone nowhere fast, between 40 and 50 since August, so for six weeks. Uh, and you could see the last time it made some new lows, it did not make new highs in that volatility that you were talking about. Often that's a sign that the short sellers could get squeezed. So I'm looking at an option there, a January call, an in-the-money call, a 40 call. Now, Oxy hasn't been down to 40 since 2008, so you have the right to buy it at a sharp, sharp discount. The $40 call is going for about 675 It's 550 dollars in the money so the break even's about a dollar dollar and a quarter above with four months of time so like i said i think there's a secondary move i think i don't think the oil volatility is over we just had a little bit of profit taking here this week without any secondary developments alan nuffman of agora financial looking to buy occidental petroleum on sale thank you so much for your trading idea and your macro comments for options insight romaine and scott